Hi there, Mouseketeers! Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning friend, if you are a new friend, then welcome! I'm so excited that you're joining along in this awesome Disney journey. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for all the wonderful content you don't want to miss out on in the future. Guys, let me tell you, I have been so spoiled this week. Um, I've tried to do my fair share of spoiling. If you didn't see it, I did put out a pin giveaway video on Tuesday. You have until the 1st of March to enter, but don't put it off because, you know, you might forget. So go ahead and watch that one if you didn't yet. But I had some other really cool videos too. I got this really cool um, castle shirt. It says, um, time for a castle selfie. It has the beautiful Cinderella castle on it. I got that for my Bibbidi Bobbidi box, my Ultimate Magic box that I unboxed on Monday. And I got these beautiful, wonderful, amazing, super fun Toy Story alien ears in an ear swap that I did with my friend Taryn over at the channel Twinkle Ball Taryn. And I did that video yesterday. So if somehow you missed any of those videos, go back and take a look. But there are some spoilers for you, but there's still more to see. Today I have a video that I know a lot of you have been waiting on, and it is a Tokyo Kawaii Club video, yay! I have so many of these mailers, guys. It's just something that, like, I when I get them, if I don't have time to film them right away, I slide them into a shelf because they're they just they're so flat. They fold, you know, they don't fold. They um they slide in so nicely. They take up so little room. Not like a big box, like a subscription service or something, like another subscription service. It's obviously a subservice um, product. Let me slow down. I sometimes just forget to open them because they're nicely put away. So this is actually one of my more recent mailers. If I tried to even guess the month, I'd fail. But it's recent. I have some that are much, much, much older, but I figured I'd go with this one first because there's something squish squishy in here. I did just about two weekends ago contact Michael and update my preferences, let him know what I like, um, what I'd like to get more of, what I wouldn't like to get more of, and so I think that's going to be really fun. Except I did tell him that I love when he sends Ufufis, and he let me know that that product line has been discontinued in Japan. So at some point, I guess whenever he runs out of product, no more Ufufis. Maybe that's already happened, and maybe you guys already knew about that, but I didn't. And I'm sad, because I love Ufufis. And I, I told him, I was like, if you can give me a button and an Ufufi in every single mailer, I'll be thrilled. And he was like, can't. Um, but no, he was super nice about it, and he got back to me within like two or three hours of emailing him about my preferences. So, this subscription service, in case you didn't already know, I kind of got right into it, is um, products right from Tokyo Disney, the parks, and the Disney store. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I have a lot of preferences listed, and honestly, because I don't know when this is from, and I've updated my preferences a couple of times now, I will not know <laughs> what kinds of preferences I should expect in here so it's gonna be a big mystery to me as well I do want to say I feel like the merchandise that has been sending out in these mailers is getting weirder and stranger and more unique than ever before which is cool I mean you can't get this stuff in America so it's fun but there are definitely some products I'm kind of hoping I don't get um we'll see we'll we will see right okay um, I'm pulling out a big bag, I think. A big bag? And that is it in there. Yes. I'm pulling out one huge bag and I'm smelling some Ufufi scent. So what I like to do with my Tokyo Kawaii Club mailer, I haven't done one in a while, but I think I'm going to do this from now on. I'm going to do King of the Hill, which I'm going to make see what's my favorite product from the bag by making it kind of go up against the prior favorite and see if it can win. And that's King of the Hill. But I don't want to look. And it feels like there's something, maybe it's a folder coming out. So let's see what is coming out. You guys actually can see it better than me. What is coming out of here, friends? What's coming out of here? Oh, that's nice. From the Tokyo Disney Resort, it's like a stick. Oh, it's a sticker set. This is really nice. This isn't, this isn't like out there at all. This is actually like legitimately super cool. All right, I am going to figure out how to take it out of its um, plastic wrap. Okay, nice. It does have an easy seal. Okay, and so it's just one sheet of stickers on a transparent background, but I like this a lot. Like, this is my style. This is me at my core. It's like all Disney. It's all Minnie and Mickey. I think this is so, so cool. So it's super hard to see like this, but let's see if I can give you a close up of some of the super cool stickers. So you have ones, you have ones that represent the parks themselves. This is a park map sticker for, and it's this, 
It says Tokyo Disneyland at the top, and it really shows what the entire map would look like. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of these stickers, but something cool. Um, some, it looks like maybe some postcards. You have Mickey's signature, a picture of the castle, a pennant featuring Tokyo Disneyland and the castle. Look at that. You have Conductor Mickey. You have what looks like a Mickey um, stuffed animal. Look at all these cool things. You have some attraction posters for Winnie the Pooh, and I think that's the teacups, and I think that's Small World. It's kind of hard to tell, especially because I'm not looking at them the right way. Oh my god, I actually... This is, um... I actually have this in pin form. This is, uh, I want to say it's like the Magic Theater or something. Let me say, let me see if I can read it on here. It's too small to read, but I think it might be like a Magic Lamp Theater or something like that. This is a character I think that's unique to Tokyo Disneyland. Oh God, a Chandu? Does that sound right to anybody? I don't know. Um, but I don't know who he is, but he's super cute. He reminds me of Raja. Look at all these super cool stickers. It's an Ariel and a Buzz. There we go, I just put this on this white background. So we have Mickey as an astronaut, Mickey and Minnie together. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Mickey in like a dapper look. Look at these stickers, they are so darling. Mini ears, yes. Tickets, right? Can't even see them, see them the whole way, but this is a product I absolutely love. I think it's so special. And I would never have been able to get this. You know what's actually really funny about this? This makes me think of actually the preferences I just updated, which is, it's not possible. I got this mailer on the way before I updated my preferences. But this is so much to do with Tokyo Disneyland Park. And that's one of the things I updated my preferences for. I was like, you know, it's cool to get things with princesses and like other characters and whatnot, villains and whatnot. But... I really like things that represent the actual park itself and the attractions. So I mentioned a couple of attractions I specifically liked or was interested in, and this totally makes me, like, it's, it's almost like he read my mind, but in the past. So that's pretty cool. This is really neat. I like this. Okay, definitely so far the stickers are my favorite item. They're the king of the hill. They, they're the item to beat. And I, I got a little zealous, guys, overzealous, right? Like, I didn't show you the bag. Everybody likes to see the bag. We got the holiday scene. And we got the 35th uh, celebration going on, so that's darling. I'm not. Oh, there is another bag in here, a smaller bag. Two smaller bags. Ooh, fancy! I feel special. And the big bag was just for the stickers. Okay. My other bags are the exact same as the big one. I guess I'm gonna go with this. Looks like there's something a little unique peeking out. What is it? Oh, no clue. It's just a white, it's a white board. Well, this might be the strangest thing I've ever seen in Subbox, friends. It's just this blank thing. Maybe there's, maybe something fell off of it. Maybe something, maybe it's this, whatever this is. Oh, this is, oh, it might be like a tote bag. Maybe, oh, I know. Maybe this was like the thing inside the tote bag to give it stability and Michael Okay, I'm see I'm getting it. This is a tote bag. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding now. So, but you can see my confusion, right? This is darling. Okay, this was definitely like a Mickey Minnie themed bag so far. It's a reusable tote. And then on this side, it says, maybe this was like from Valentine's Day or something. It says, who does Mickey love? Well, who does he love? He loves him some Minnie. She's right there. The sides even have Minnie's dots, which, oh, this is black and white dots. I like the red dots better. I kind of wish they were both the red dots, but that's cool. And then this has Minnie Mouse in her old fashioned look. And it says Minnie is a charmer, but she can be mischievous too. Can she? I didn't know Minnie could be mischievous. All right, that's really cool. And yes, I'm thinking this is what goes into the bottom of the tote. To give it some stability. I was so baffled, guys. I was like, I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> yeah, so nail, it has a lot of stability. And I think I would actually really like to take this grocery shopping with me. John and I got a membership to um, BJ's, which is kind of like Costco, but it's closer to us, um, or a Sam's Club, depending on you know what you have where you are. And you have to bring your own bags. So this is something I can definitely see just leaving in the car and snagging when it's time to go there and get some bulk items. So that's really cool. I actually, I normally am not a fan of like tote bags. This little stability thing is actually making life really difficult. Okay. It doesn't want to 
clothes damage, which is maybe my, why Michael took it out. So, sticker set. Super cute. Love it. Tote. Really practical. Really like it. Still gotta be sticker set being the king of the hill. But so far, I'm really liking what he sent. I found both of these to be fun, unique, and not super bizarre like a couple of the items I've been seeing in some other people's openings. Okay, now I'm finally gonna go for the ooh foofy. Now I'm finally gonna go for it. Perfect! Perfect! It's Chip! And the reason I say perfect is because the very first Beauty and the Beast themed ooh foofy that Michael ever sent me was Mrs. Potts. So I finally have Chip to go with his mama. And let me see. Yes, this is a pre-scented one. There's no place to stick scent beads. And it smells really nice. And I really don't like the ones where you stick the scent beads in because I actually don't find them as, as um, fragrant. These I feel really keep their scent a lot longer. Um, and it's just cool. I keep, I'm just like, here we go, me and, me and Chip. I can't let my husband see this or he will probably do this until Chip's um, nose slash handle breaks off. But this is really cute, and there's some adorable details on this. Here's the first look at Chip. I mean, he's strange looking, right? Like, we can all agree on that. But he's also super darling. I love his his really light colors. He's so soft and squeezable. And then, yeah, this is where you can, um... I guess you would sip from him, right? This is how you'd hold him. But look at this. There's his chip. There's where he is broken. That is so clever. That is such a neat way to represent his little broken piece in the Ufufi form. I love that. So I'm super happy to have this. I really, 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 really like it. And I really had my fingers crossed that Michael was gonna be able to send me as many Beauty and the Beast Ufufis as possible, like now knowing that they got discontinued. So I'm so happy Chip was in here. Because so far I have Chip, I have Mrs. Potts, and I have Cogsworth. And I've seen Lumiere and Beast in the American like parks and maybe they're discontinued there too and I don't even know because I haven't seen them in the stores either in a long time but I could probably find those on like eBay or something if I really wanted to um so I don't know what other characters are in a foofy form but I'm really happy to have Chip he smells nice too okay king of the hill time is it Chip or is it the stickers and you know what it's so close I'm still going these stickers they like when I really look at these, they really did bring me joy. They really, they're still making me smile. I feel like usually I get five or six items and that's exactly what it feels like it's going to be. I'm wondering if this is going to be post-its. Nailed it, post-its. Oh, and this is where the thank you Michael is from, is on. He always sends um, a little note card. This is unique though. I'm not on, I thought, I, I, yes, they are definitely post-its. But they're kind of different. There are two sets, and I don't think I'm going to open them because I don't know if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to send these along to a friend in the future. So I'm going to keep them nice and pristine. Love, love, love this post-it. Okay, so this is what I saw. And so it's a Mickey head, and instead of being drizzled with chocolate, it really looks like it's drizzled in, my first guess is honey, although it might be like maybe a caramel sauce or something. So maybe in Tokyo Disney, they don't like dip their Mickey waffles in chocolate um, or syrup. Oh, I guess it's syrup, right? It's syrup. What was I thinking? I don't know why. I, for some reason, you know why? Because my favorite restaurant for um, a character breakfast is Garden Grill in Epcot. And they actually have a Nutella spread that you can spread all over your Mickey waffles, and that's to die for. So I even forgot that we use syrup on Mickey. I was thinking, oh no, we use chocolate. Like, no, we don't. Like, most of the time we don't. But, um, yeah, seriously, if you have not had the Nutella spread on Mickey waffles at Garden Grill, make yourself a pre-park opening reservation for your next trip ASAP, and then you can go right onto Sword with no weight. It's the best system ever. But yeah, you can see, it looks like there on both of these, that there are multiple sheets of paper. And what's this? It's a plate for you to put your note on. But that's also a note, look. And it does have some, some helpful um, steps. I think maybe there are some heads that don't have the syrup on them and then you just get to put them on the plate so i guess you can have two notes in one that's a unique product that's pretty neat that's pretty cool as unique and cool as these postcards or post post-it notes are i'm still gonna have to give it to the stickers because the stickers not sharing those these might go to a friend i'm not sure i haven't decided yet okay i think we're down to two items let's see what this one is maybe a keychain maybe Oh, it's one item left. Oh, okay. I think it is the keychain then. Okay. Oh, huh. I 
was right. That's why I just said, huh, like that, because I was confused about how these two things went together. It is two different things. All right, this one, I believe my friend Robin from the channel, Oh Hello Robin, got. But I, Robin, was yours a keychain? Because honestly, I like it a lot better as a keychain. I feel like it's a little more practical this way. So it's a little fan. I'm trying to get this off. It's, it's There we go, without breaking it, because it, it feels fairly delicate. But I'm going to open it with you guys at the camera for the first time. Okay, so here it is in its, in its small form. How do we open this? There we go. Look at this little fan. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love, I, I honestly didn't want to get this, but now I'm really happy I did get it. Uh, it says alien here, and it's the green top for his face with his eyes, and then it's his Pizza Planet uniform. Oh my god. And so yeah, just keep that nice and tightly together for a second. Look, you can even see it there. It's so cool. And then you can see here's the keychain part, and it even shows you what it's supposed to look like when it opens. Although here kind of doesn't that kind of look like teeth? Like, doesn't this look like a monster or something? Like, doesn't this look like a monster? I actually think they did, like... I don't know. I guess that's the bottom where it opens, but I don't feel like mine looked like that. This looks kind of scary. <laughs> I have to admit that I'm really torn on this. I didn't want this fan to begin with. But now that I see it's on a keychain, I can just pop it, like, as a cute little accessory. Like, I was like, what am I going to do with this little fan sitting around? But now that it goes on a keychain and it can just be put on my purse or something, I kind of really like it. And I think it's going to beat out the stickers as King of the Hill purely because it is my favorite character. But there's one more item. Can it hold the top spot? That's the question. Considering the last item is also Little Green Man themed. I keep worrying that Michael's going to run out of Little Green Man themed products to send me, but he hasn't so far. Um, I don't know what this is yet, so I'm going to have to open it. So even trying to look on the back, because there are, there's like one or two words I recognize, but that's not giving me any help. So it's some kind of pouch, and there's, there's two of them, okay. Some kind of pouch, chiz, <laughs> and I'm going to delicately open it. What is this? Oh, it's like stationary, I think. Oh my god. Oh, this is so darling. All right, well, let me show you guys. So it did come in a two pack and this is what the front looks like here. And this is what the back looks like. And I, I mean, I love both, but I gotta admit, anytime I can see just a whole bunch of men, like little green man, I should say, um, little green men like come together, that's gonna be my favorite of anything ever. But it goes like this. So it's kind of like an envelope and has these little cutouts so you can see the, the, this layer below, which is darling, and then you open it and then you turn it and it says aliens. Ooh. Then you open this part and look, so you could put something in this. Like you could send somebody stickers or maybe even a pin. I don't know. No, probably not. This would, this would probably tear. It is just paper. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do about this because I love how it looks. I could just see like, honestly, like putting this in a little tiny frame. I really could see that. Like, you know how they sell those super tiny frames at Michael's and AC Moore and you're like, like, what do you do with those frames other than like table numbers at a wedding? Maybe it's for this. All right, you gotta tell me what you guys would use that little note system card thing for. It's, it's cool and I like that it's my favorite little guys on it. So, who's King of the Hill? I am so shocked that it's this little fan. I am so I'm just shocked because I've seen, like I said, other people open it and I thought, I hope Michael doesn't send that to me, but he probably will because that's my favorite character and he's going to run out of merch to send to me. Okay, I'm trying to open it so delicately because I don't want to break it. My only fear with this keychain, honestly, is that it's still, it doesn't want to open again. Like, maybe it has like, you know, you ever, um see the chocolate frogs in Harry Potter and they're like they only have one good jump in them to begin with. Maybe this only has one good opening in it to begin with because I felt like it opened really nicely for you guys to start with and now it's like not opening that nicely and it's kind of just like folding back in onto itself. So I don't know. Now I'm a little uh, less certain about this product. I, I might have to play around with it. I'm trying to see if I can really get it to open nicely because I kind of feel like if I put it on my bag and let it hang open 
as the fan, I mean, it's a pretty cute little pop of color, don't you think? So I think it's still going to be the fan is my favorite as long as I can get it to work nicely. And then it's going to be that really cool sticker set. But I got so many cool things in this mailer. Like I also got those little paper notes and I got the Minnie Mouse tote bag, which I guess was like, I don't know, I feel like they're usually cheap, but maybe that was like a higher ticket item there. And then I got like the double notepads of the Mickey waffles and plates, which is so bizarre, but neat. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm happy because none of the products in here were products that I was like worried about getting and that I didn't like. Um, I was worried about getting the fan. I do like it. I hope that it works nicely in the future. I will have definitely more of these unboxings coming your way very, very soon. Thank you for watching this one. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for following along with me and I'll see you real soon.